Oh, she does great soccer skills. Raymond, that's oh, 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 Sorry. <laughs> so smart. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Look, there's a connection between us. No, there isn't. Maybe this is the wrong time. But whenever you're ready, just say the word and we'll go for it. late to find a venue. How's the takeaway pasta oh, and salad? Nearly done. I mean, if you're thinking about getting married in three weeks, you're going to have to make some decisions. And I said that I was not going to stress about this wedding, and if all else fails, we'll just get married on the beach. Would you say so? Hey, are you going to be bringing a date? Oh, no, I'm just going to come with VJ. I'm trying to spend some quality time with him. Oh, yeah? How's that going? With me, so-so, but Roman paying him attention the other day worked wonders. You know, I've been thinking I want to do something to thank Roman for being so wonderful lately, but I'm not sure what. Cook him something from the masterclass. He got you the ticket. No, it seems fair. Yeah, yeah. But dinner's a bit date-ish, don't you think? <laughs> well, I don't know. Make it lunch. Invite other people. It'd be really nice. Yeah, no, it would be. Um, in fact, I'm off tomorrow, so if he's free, would you and Tony like to come? Yeah. Gee, that was a good idea of mine. I just score myself a free lunch. <laughs> Thank you, Colleen. Thank you very much. Mr. Palmer? Yeah. Hi, I'm, I'm Kirsty. I'm the one tutoring train English. We oh. spoke on the phone. <laughs> so you're the wonder girl. Oh. Thanks very much for what you're doing. You're doing a great job. Well, I'm, I'm glad to hear I've made a difference. But uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to continue helping Trey anymore. If money's an issue, then there's no problem. Oh, no, it's not the money at all. I'm, I'm a single mum, and uh, I just can't afford all the extra hours. That's all. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I'm sure Martin Bartlett will have a list of other tutors that could help. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll see you at school, Trey. Here they've recovered more debris from that boat that went missing in the squall a few weeks ago. But no one's reported a missing vessel. That's weird. Thank you. Yeah, I think that's the one Jeff and Nicole saw on the island. We still haven't had any leads on the guy, though. I know it sounds pathetic, but even a story about a shipwreck just makes me miss being around boats. <laughs> What's the attraction? Are you serious? You don't like boats? No, no, no. I never said that. I just don't really have the desire to go out on them. Oh, my God, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> yeah, probably. How can you just not love the sound of water lapping up on the side of a boat? Or the way the sun shines out there and the smell of the salt in the air? Even the smell of the fuel, it just makes me miss them. <laughs> oh, you think I'm nuts? No, no, not at all. You had me there for a second. I just got lost on the fuel thing. Mm. Oh, morning. Oh, hey. Um, I've got a bit of a favour to ask. Uh, VJ is staying at Stella's and I was wanting to just have a bit of a lunch here today at home. And you want us to vacate? If that's not too much to ask. No, of course, that's fine. Sure. <laughs> hey, do you want to grab lunch today then, since we missed out yesterday? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, right. I don't see why not. Uh, I've got somewhere to be at 1.30 though, if that's okay. Yeah, sure. Okay, well, thanks guys, I really appreciate it. I'll get a lift with you. I'll see you at the diner midday. Perfect. Hey, what was that about last night? I don't have to explain it to you. You pulled out of tutoring me in front of my parents just so I wouldn't say anything. Why would you do that? I'm sorry if you feel like I've let you down, but really, you gave me no choice. Because I was up front with you? You're punishing me for that. No, Trey, it's obvious to me you're not going to respect my position. So I think that I need to do the right thing here. I don't see what's wrong with me telling you I find you attractive. I think you're totally overreacting. Really? Well, I think you're trying to get me into trouble. How will we get into trouble? We wouldn't be doing anything wrong. Besides, you have a little secret. Trey, I've told you how I feel. I don't think I can make it any clearer. Stuffed olives. Uh, pumpkin salad with goat's cheese, roast beef rolls and a couple of fresh muffins. Oh, it sounds lovely, thanks. And uh, might I ask the name of the lucky fellow who is sharing this romantic picnic? Uh, it's Charlie, actually, and it's not romantic. No, well, how could it be you both girls? Hey! Hey! What's with the hamper? I thought we'd do something a bit different. As in a picnic? 
as in I've booked Alf's boat for the afternoon. We're going to have lunch on the water. Right, Joe, you didn't need to do that. Remember, I haven't got much time out there. I know, but this is my way of saying thank you for everything thank you. you've done for me. And I can have you back in time to meet your friends. And really, I just can't handle someone not liking boats. All right, in that case, I'm open to being convinced. OK, let's get the keys. <laughs> Yeah, so it's nothing special. It's just a casual lunch with Rachel and Tony. We'll probably talk about the wedding the whole time. Today. I'd love to. Oh, OK, cool, great. Well, you'll come over after your shift? Yeah, sure. You want me to bring anything? No, 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 just yourself. OK. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go, I'll see you later. Oh, hey, oh, gosh, I just got your text. What's the big disaster? <gasps> oh, my God. OK, tell me. <sighs> I've got to cancel lunch. I can't go through with it. What are you talking about? Okay, I just invited Roman and then I remembered something from my birthday when I was drunk. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, well, there's something huge that I didn't remember. I kissed him. What? Yeah, I pashed Roman and I must have blacked it out. I can't believe he hasn't said something so embarrassing. I can't even look at him, let alone have him over for lunch. Well, you can't cancel. You see him every day at work. You're going to have to face him. No, he's going to think I'm a twit. I was so drunk that night. OK, hey, all right. You can't let something that happened weeks ago, one drunken night, ruin your friendship with him. <sighs> Clearly it doesn't bother him. He didn't want to make a big deal of it, otherwise he would have mentioned it the next day. That's worse. <laughs> can't you see that that's worse? What am I going to do? <laughs> well, hey, you've invited him, so you go through with it. Just pretend it didn't even happen like he is. <sighs> I'll see you at lunch. Oh. <laughs> 